So hey, today I'm getting ready to put together this shelf. It'll look like this when it's complete. What we did first, we got all the parts out. The parts are here. This is everything you're going to need to build it. Your hardware is in here. It does come with uh, tools to put it together. The only thing I have added in addition to their tools is I use an impact with a Phillips head attachment because it does help me up screw on the screws in quicker. You're going to be putting your four drawers together. So you're going to need all four Q's, all four P's, all four O's, all four R's, and all 16 number fives. Let's take an O, a P, and the Q. The O's are on the outside. The O is on one outside. P is on the other outside. You want your lines on the inside. You're going to put two screws, number fives. You want to run the O and the P into the Q. Then you're going to take your R, which is your drawer bottom, and you're just going to slide it in there. You're going to do that to all four. Take the four drawers that you got sitting there, your four ends. Your four ends, you're going to take these ones. You need 16 number ones, and you're going to add four of those for every one of the ends. So that'll be a total of all four, get four of these. So that'll be 16. Then you're gonna need 16 of these. You're gonna take the drawers that you have already made and you're gonna put those in here. So you wanna put them screw side, the plus side out like this. Then once you get all four of these in and tighten down, these will go down inside of that, and then you will twist this and lock it in place. All four of these in, I'm just going to line them up. It's easier if it's sitting on my lap. It's in, sometimes you have to turn the screws until you get it into the right position. You also have to line up this drawer with this crack here. So they have this side lined up. So I'm just going to twist the screw until I lock this into place. Twist it till it locks into place. You'll feel it lock. What it's doing is it's, this is reaching through like this. And it's grabbing a, a hold of the edge of this and locking it like this. So it's through here like this and it will grab it and lock it. That way it doesn't come loose. You're done. Each of your drawers should look like this. See, these are sealed flush. These are flush. The drawer is solid. Last step will be taking your number nines, which are your door hand, drawer handles. Now have four screws. You're just going to slide the screw through the back, put your handle on, and tighten it. And your drawer is completely done. You're done with the drawer. You do that four times, and you'll have all four of them ready. I'm going to take these are together. There's CL and CR, DL and DR. I'm going to cut those apart. You need a DR and a DL. What that is, drawer left, drawer right. You're going to turn your drawer upside down. The left is going to be on your right side because when you flip it over, it will be the left. So upside down, your DL is going to be on your right side. Your DR is going to be on your right side. And you see the holes lined up right there. You're going to put a number six in each one of these. You're going to do that for all four drawers. Remember, your right side will be on your left, because when you flip this, it will be your right side. Okay, your four drawers should look like this now. Now you're going to take your F, face it face down like this, with the edge pointing outward. You're going to take four CRs, which will be these four. They're going to be put in with 13s. Now the lining and placement hole is important, so we're going to go over that right now. You're going to want to line these up with the second hole and the second hole. If you do it this too far that way or too far this way, it will not work properly. You need it on the second hole on each of these. So we got our CRs mounted. Correct one. You're going to take four number threes, and they are going to go in these slots right here. They just press right in. They can adjust as needed, and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to take your B, your number B, your letter B, 
you want again to crease the groove to the outside. You're going to put four number threes in, the same as you just did on the other one, here, and then again on this side. And your two number ones are going to go here and here. And you're going to tighten them down. Now I've got my B on the floor, and right here is my F. We're going to line these holes up here. Then lock it in place. We will install these. Tighten it down. You just lock it down. So now we have our C. We're going to take four number threes again, same as we have been doing. Two here, and then two on this end as well. And you're going to take your C. We're going to have this edge lined with that edge. You're going to put these inside of these, and you're going to run the screws through this. So we're going to line these up, pop them put them in so it should look like this right now okay now we have H and I H is a little bit skinnier than I H you're going to put number threes in the top side here they should just slide in and on I we're putting it on this side down here like that so now you're going to take a number one you're going to put it right here on the back on your same side as your F make sure you put it in the hole that's towards B like this and put it in this hole down here there's two holes you're going to put the other one in the bottom hole okay. now you're going to take your H Slide it in here. Make sure your camo lock is in it. Slide it through. As you're looking at this from the B side, your H will be right here, locked in. So number seven, this is it. It's your magnet with the two screws that's going to hold your doors. Goes on B in here on this inside corner right down here. There's two holes. You'll see these holes. There's one, there's two. This will screw with the magnet pointing out, just like that, right there. We're taking K, which is just a sliding insert. It will go up in here, make sure you get it lined up, and in these grooves. I'm gonna take your I, slide it in here, line it up. Take your camel lock, which is a number two, pop it in, and lock it. Now you're taking your D slot with your insert to the outside. You're going to grab your CLs. You want the wheel toward you. They line up here, 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 and here. You're wanting to do just like you did earlier. When you put these in, you're wanting the second hole and the next to the last hole on all four of those. We'll lock them in place with your number 13. So you should have eight of those left from earlier. Put these in place, you're going to, to do six number ones. Two here, two here, and two here. And you screw them all into place. Now you're going to take your D. You've seen we stood this up because you're going to line all these holes up at once. And lock this into place down there. You're going to put your slots, these here, you have to put those in here and there, here, the back side there, all the places that have slots, they're going to have to be, there's two here, there's two here, and there's going to be two here. You're going to put those in, and then when you run these in, you'll lock it in place. And I'll show you. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through all these that don't have the camel locks in them putting the number two camel lock in it, locking it in place so that when I stand this up, it's going to be sturdy. So I'm just basically just taking the lock. 
I'm putting it in and then I will twist it until it locks. It just locked. So now we set it back down and we're putting L in. Make sure when you're doing it, you lock all these in. Sometimes you might have to do some adjusting, but it, it'll lock in. Now we're taking E as an egg. We're gonna put four number ones in. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Screw them down. So now you're gonna take E. There's four uh, number ones you just put in. They're gonna go in here. Then you're gonna take a camel lock, slide inside of here, up underneath. Also on the back side, underneath the side here. If you wanna show them the inside of here. The camel lock will go right in here and lock them into place. So now you should be at the point where it's gonna look like this. You're gonna take M and just slide it down in through here like this, locking that in place. Now you're going to take A, you want this indentation towards the front. You're going to take two number threes, put in here. This next piece, you're going to need a lot of different pieces of hardware, so you got to be careful. You uh, also need four number ones, and your number ones are going to go here, 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 and here. And then you're going to screw those in. So for the next part, you have two other options. Uh, you have your J. Your J is going to go right up here. These are going to line up. It's going to go in. You're going to screw these three screws in here to hold it down. They are number 17. But you also have this number 15. And you'll see it's made for the small screw to go in here. And this big screw is in case you want to mount it to your wall. That's why it has an anchor. So you can anchor it to the wall. We're not doing that. I'm just showing you what it's for because we don't want ours anchored to the wall. You do have that option. That's what the big screw is for with the anchor in case you want to attach this to the wall. Just zipping in these three seventeens really quickly with my impact. So you're going to take four number threes. Two will go here. Two will go here. Then this will go on like this. You'll pop it on, put in your number twos in here, your camel locks. We'll lock it in on these. We'll show you what it looks like. So now you're going to take your number 12s. There's four of them. My wife is going to decide if she wants on the low, the medium, or the high side. So we're going to put these in the middle. That will hold your shelf here and your shelf is in place so your drawers is going to slide in and out they're good to go for tin hardware you want to make sure you put your handle on the outside because it has the barn door looked on it you'll just go through and you'll screw those in. You're going to have these two brackets, which will be held on by four number sixes. Uh, they're going to go here. Basically, that's the top of your door. It's going to catch that magnet up there and hold your door closed. Looking at the door, you're probably wondering how they fit. These push down. They push down, the grommet does, and then it will slide into place. You have to watch to make sure you got it in the right spot and you just heard the click noise that means it's in spot so they just they click the magnets work lock it in place the only thing you have left to do oh this thing's heavy so it is very sturdy made is you have these and your number 14s, if you so choose, you can go through and just screw them into this. I'm not going to. I don't really feel like I need to. But you can lock, drill these into here. And that's to put these in place. But it's held in place by all the different locking mechanisms. This is just extra. I don't feel the need to do it. It's pretty solid. 
So, as you watch us put this together, it took me roughly an hour, hour and a half. Uh, a lot of it's because I was making the video. It's You're not just moving along with it. You could probably do it in about an hour, 45 minutes. The main thing is following the directions. Uh, there are a few extra pieces. They give you a few extra, like the tabs, a few extra screws. Uh, you have this piece in case you want to mount it to the wall. You have these little uh, stickers in case you want to cover your camel locks. Um, stuff like that's minor to me. I really don't worry about it. But if you choose to, it's there. The unit itself, this thing is solid. It's heavy. It's so it, It's solid. Uh, it's really nicely built. Drawers, the doors, I mean, they open perfectly fine. It's a nice looking unit. It's Like I said, it's really solidly made. The drawers slide really well. I like how it turned out. I like the country look to it. It's a really nice unit, and I would definitely recommend this. And it is model number JM, J3M016BR0M. We will also attach that in the link.